This is Vishal here from Trackport. So in this video, we will understand how to implement Superbase to fetch and display data in a list format or in a tab tabular format in Trackport. Here we are using Trackport as a front-end builder and we are using Superbase, a no-code platform for building backend as a backend. Right. So we will be storing all the data in Superbase and fetching it through REST APIs and displaying in on the draft code front end. So front end is running on draft code and the back end is running on Superbase. We will do authentication, we will uh, do uh, to login, sign up, we will be basically building APIs, we will be fetching data and doing a lot of interesting stuff. So let's start. So I have the Superbase account which already has two tables which is uh, product and review. So I have a couple of products created, product 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, some price description and all. Okay, and this is my Superbase uh, API details. So I go to out, uh, this API guide and go to introduction. So basically uh, for the product and then these are the APIs which are going to use. So by default, it shows you JavaScript, but we are using raw API. So I have enabled batch keys. You can show height since uh, so basically you, these are the URL which we are going to use to get data. And we need to pass API key and authorization. And this is my Superbase key and BRA token. So all these keys you can get from the settings. Okay, so the project settings are here. In the project settings, you can go to API and you can get all these keys from here. So this is your project URL. This is your uh, public key. You can copy. This is your secret key. This is your JWT token. Okay. So I will be using these two keys because these we are going to pass in the APIs to make a call and fetch data. So I've already uh, op opened this. So let me open my API settings in another tab. Okay, so that we can copy keys from there. We will know which API we have to call and then we can control the data from here. Okay, so all these things are here. Now, let me open my key. So it is here. In the product project documentation is here and I enable bash. So let's first implement the fetching of data and displaying in a tabular format in trap code. Okay. So let's go to trap code. So here we have a dummy project, uh, a very fresh project which you just created is nothing, no collection, no snippets, no pages, nothing. So we're building everything from scratch. So let's first display the data or the list of records from Superbase on let's say on a home page. Okay, so I already have a home page. Here, let's say I want to display in a tabular format. So for that, we will be needing to fetch data. So let's say I want to fetch data of product. So I'll create a collection. So I'll define the fields that what type of data will come. Then I will make a API call and bind the data in that product collection. So that draft code understand that what is the schema or what all different fields are coming. So you don't have to give JSON everywhere. So that is, this is much easier when you already know what all fields are coming. So I'll go and create a collection called product. So this is a non persistent collection. We will not be storing anything. So I'll show you how that works. So let's create the fields which are coming from uh, Superbase. So my Superbase has uh, these four fields, name of the product, description, price, manufacturing date. So let's create these four fields. So name of the product is text. I'll say name. Then second is uh, again text, which is description. Uh, let's make it large text. Then uh, a number, which is price. And then a date field, which is manufacturing date. Why we are creating this collection? Because we will be using this schema, these four fields to generate tables and to generate forms. Otherwise, we'll have to use normal form component and uh, table do not understand anything directly coming from the API. We have ways to do it, but this is much, much simpler as compared to doing it on a raw JSON. So I've created a dummy schema of a product collection and added these four fields. Now let's go and build a data table. So I'll go back to my home page and let's drop a data table and try to display data from here. So this is a blank page. Let me draw a, a navbar component. Uh, let's say Superbase. Okay, I'll change the color to 
something else. Okay, so now let's drop a, a data table. So let let me draw a container, a two co a one column layout, and then drop a data table. So now I'll say I want to display data from collection in which collection, which is a product collection. So that's all. So it has shown, it has basically created a dummy table or a skeleton table, which has the fields which are there in the collection. Now we will need to bind these fields to bring the actual data in display. As of now, if I go and see preview, it will not display anything because there is no data. And there is one more setting which we'll have to change. The data as of now is coming from the trap code collection and we want the data to come from Superbase, right? So we'll need to do certain more settings. So I'll show you how all those can be done. Let me just, okay. Now let's do and build the API connection to fetch data from Superbase and display on this table. To do that, let's go to the settings and go to external APIs. So this is the module which we are going to use extensively to build APIs back and forth to fetch and display data, create records, delete, update, everything will run on this model. So this is the most important part of the whole series. So I'll go and create an external API, create. Now let's create the first API. The first API is fetch products data from So this is the name which you can give whatever you want to give so that you can understand. Okay, and then here we'll need to give the URL. So let's go and see what this fetch API looks like in Superbase and how do we do it. I'll go back to Superbase, go to the API. So here we want to do this read row. So we basically want to read the data. So how this to work? So this is the API which I'll need to use read all rows right we will be reading all rows and we, we are not limiting any specific column if you want to read a specific column you can use this api if you want to read data from other keys which are uh, other tables which are connected to a foreign key you can use this api if you want to use pagination you can use this api so these we will be covering in the next videos for now let's just read all the records so just to keep it simple we are reading all the records all the columns so i copied this i go back to trap code paste it or you can again go back here and only copy this URL. So let's copy the URL, paste it here. This is a get call. Okay, so I will be changing from post to get. Now we need to pass two things in the other. One is API key, other is authorization. So I'll just copy API key. I'll say key in the value. I need to pass my API key. So there are two ways to get the API key. Either you go to the settings and then API settings and copy the API key from here. So this is my API key. I can just copy it from here and paste it. So this is one way. Other option is you go to the documentation of the API documentation of your table and enable the API keys from here. Here you see as of now it is hidden. I can just go and enable it. So you see my API keys are visible here and I can also uh, basically enable everything so all those things are here so i'll just copy the api key from here or i can copy from the settings which i've just mentioned you copy the api key now let's copy the authorization so authorization is expecting bearer and this token right secret key so i'll say bearer and then the my secret key and now we are not sending any dynamic data so let's make a sample request i'll send a sample request and you see it has fetched the data from Superbase. So this means the API key is working. We are getting the record. Now let's display this data on the table which we have created. So to do that, I'll say just process response, which is fine. After that process response, I want to tell that, okay, instead of saving the data in the database, don't save the data, just map it to the collection without persisting and send it to whatever component is asking for it. So here we are using data table. So it will send the data to data table. Okay, we'll do the configuration data table that how do the table get this data. Now I need to pass the data item path. So let me see what type of data is coming. 
for that we can use postman or we can use swagger uh, but i don't think superbase has a swagger documentation so let's use postman so i have this postman okay so i am here at postman so this is my key and i've already uh, copied my authentication api key and authorization token and make a, a call so this is how the data is coming so i am seeing all these five records so the data is already coming at the root we know we don't have to give any data path right because it is already coming at the at the beginning of the json so i'll go back i'll leave this blank and i'll say bind this json or whatever the response is coming to the product collection and unifying id table column which is here in superbase is this is the unique column which is id which is fine name i'll bind name description i'll bind description if you need created it you can bind that table collection also but we don't want to display created it so i'm not binding it and manufacturing data is manufacturing date try to name superbase variables without spaces and all because that is much much uh, convenient you can avoid errors okay but yeah it's completely up to you so i have bind this and save the settings now i have created a very simple con uh, connection to superbase where i am saying go and fetch the list of all the records from the product table and make a connection so that we can use this connection in data table and fetch the data now let's go back to data table so here in the data table you see uh, we had this uh, setting where we are saying get data from collection product now i'll just reload the page because we have added a connection in another tab so we'll just have to refresh so i'll go back again and i'll say get data from external api response i am not saying get data from collection because there is nothing in the collection nothing is getting stored in the external api we have done this configuration that fetch the data and map it to a collection but don't store it right in that case we will need to tell data table that you need to bring the data which is coming from external api so i'll say get data from external api then it is asking which api i'll say fetch data product data from superbase this is the api which we have just created so it has drawn this table okay i'll remove this uh, class which is striped i don't need it okay now let's re rearrange these columns so first i want to display name description price and then manufacturing date okay. and that's all now we have made the collection we have told the table what to display and let's see how this looks like now so i'll just go and click preview so the data is here so this is the data which is coming directly from superbase congratulations we have made the first api record and this is working fine now let's go and try adding couple of more records in superbase and see what happens here so i'll go back to my superbase i go to my table and just add one more record i'll say product six Price, let's say 240, manufacturing date, some 4th of November and 6th. So I've created one more record. Let's go back to trap code. So let's say this your user is seeing this page, and as soon as a new record gets created, it is available or shown to them automatically in the real time. So the product 6 is there, which we just created, right? From Superbase. So now uh, trap code. This table is making a real time call and fetching the data from Superbase directly. And draft code is being used as a 100% as a front end builder. If you want to make sure whether it is not coming from any table or any local MongoDB draft code collection, so you can go to collection and just check. Here you see no, no data, neither in preview environment, production environment. So it is just a skeleton uh, collection which is mapping to an external API. Whatever data is coming from external API. It is just binding all the fields and displaying on the data table. So this basically established a connection with Superbase to bring the data in the real time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Continue to keep watching the next series of videos which we create to integrate Superbase end to end. See you again in the next video. Bye bye.